Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy X coming at y'all with a brand new video. And as you guys can see, we got some new spotlights and moments. Well, you can only see the Stephen Jackson, but we got some other ones. We have a Dick Barnett and uh, Terry Cummings here that should be popping up in the Triple Threat Offline Vault because that is set to um you know happen today we also have a galaxy opal bob sir i'm pretty sure nope i lied it is a pink diamond bob sir so don't have that quite yet and then we have a think a pink diamond cliff robinson looks like they're giving us the old domination rewards and new ones a diamond uh Di dianis onto the kumbo and then a diamond jordan pool as well which is kind of cool definitely not too bad the steven jackson and bob sir are going to be beasts i can't wait to use them and obviously some new triple threat vault rewards is going to be cool so we're going to start off with jordan Poole, who is a six foot six shooting guard probably going to be small forward as well uh shooting guard small forward but we'll see has a 88 mid range a 92 three point shot actually pretty nice 90 free throw um 92 driving layup a 90 driving dunk 85 drop ball 91 ball handle with some great playmaking. The 94 speed, 94 speed ball, and 93 acceleration. Kind of weird that you make those all the same. And 95 stamina, 90 lateral quickness, and 90 perimeter defense, 81 interior, and 89 steel. Also, his rebounding actually pretty good for a guard, at least. Like, if we're taking that into consideration. Has no post game, though, which really isn't too big of a deal. 27 Hall of Fame badges. Acrobat, Relentless Finisher, Tear Dropper, Contact, Giant. Um, has Catch and Shoot, Green Machine, Hot Zone Hunter, Volume Shooter. Has Quick Chon Range, both on gold. Definitely not bad. Um, handles for days, quick first step and tight handles. That's nice. Also, ankle breaker, pretty cool too. Has clamps, which is nice. Honestly, looking pretty good for his gold badges. Dimer, floor gen on the other, like unpluggable. Yeah, Jordan Poole actually is looking pretty quality. Don't know what his animations are looking like um, as far as shooting and stuff like that. But um, I'll check him out. And also, I wanted to say right before we get into some of the later stats, if you guys want to see a gameplay with any of these guys, let me know down in the comment section below. And for future reference at any of the stats videos that we do, let me know the cards you guys want to see me drop a gameplay on. And I got y'all um, with the thinking Bob Sarah for this one because I absolutely love that card, but we'll see. Uh, next, we have Thianis Antetokounmpo, who is a shooting guard, which is nice. This is the. Um, I thought it was Kostas for a second. I was mixing them up. But definitely got a cool six foot six uh, shooting guard small forward. I'm going to assume if he's a PG, that's going to be amazing. Has a 80 mid range, 84 three point shot, and 80 free throws, a 95 driving and standing, well, driving layup and standing dunk, a 98 driving dunk post game, all in the 60s. That's pretty much worthless. Has an 86 ball handle and some decent playmaking as well. Uh, 96 speed, 94 speed ball, 96 acceleration. Has a 98 stamina as well. Not bad. Rebounding's actually pretty decent. Uh, 90 steel, 81 interior, 91 perimeter, 84 block and 91 lateral quickness for his badges as 26 of them huff um acrobat contact and fancy also i like pro touch gotta love that for his hall of fame badges is finishing for shooting we got corner specialist catch and shoot hot zone hunter green machine and quick draw which is nice also has gold range which is good um has hall of fame downhill like that also has half i mean gold dimer handles for days quick first step tight handles and unpluckable gotta like all of those Hall of Fame clamps and Intimidator at the guard is going to be really good. Honestly, looking pretty nice. Again, I don't know what his animations are looking like. Obviously, we haven't had any cards uh, for him, I think, above his, like, bronzes. Maybe a silver. So, we don't really have too much point of reference for him. But should be a pretty nice card as long as his animations hold up there. Next, we have a pink diamond cliff Robinson. Also, apparently, they tweeted out with the pictures. So... Yeah, Diane is, is a shooting guard at small forward. But Cliff Robinson here is a power forward small forward. Thought they would make him a power forward center. I think that's what his other one was. But a power forward small forward, which is going to be awesome because he's 6'10". Has a 88 mid-range, 95 three-point shot, and 92 free throw. 86 driving layup, a 90 standing, 80, 95 driving dunk. 82 post 85 post fadeaway, which is pretty nice. 86 pull handle, so we can speed boost. Has a 90 speed, 88 speed ball, and a 90 acceleration. Also a 90 stamina. Uh, so pretty good rebounding as well. 90 steel, 92 interior, 89 perimeter, 90 block, and 93 lateral quickness. This is a beast. Like, And the fact that he can play the three of the four, I think, honestly, he looks like he's going to be pretty good at either. He's got good speed. So honestly, <laughs> Cliff Robinson looking nice. Um, 34 of the fame badges for finishing. We got consistent contact, Lob City, Giant Slayer. I like that. Also has gold fancy. Uh, for shooting, we have Hall of Fame, Quick Draw, and Range. Catch and Shoot, Pick a Popper, Difficult Shots. 
All right, not bad. Also, like, range extended. Gotta love that. Uh, for his playmaking, has floor general and quick first step on Hall of Fame. For a power forward, small forward, it's actually pretty nice. Also, has handles today. His tight handles and unpluckable on goal, which is cool. For her, his defensive slash rebounding, rim protector, clamps, and tender, interceptor, post move lockdown, and defensive leader. I like that. A power forward, small forward, ha has floor general and defensive leader Hall of Fame. That's going to be nice. He's a little bit of a weird release. He's almost sideways when he shoots it. So for some of you guys, that might not be the most ideal thing, but I do think he's actually a pretty nice card. So, yeah, pretty quality. Definitely go check him out. Uh, next, we have the card that I am super excited about, that being Pink Diamond Bob Surath. His Amethyst and his um, Ruby to Am or his Emerald and his Ruby to Amethyst Evo were such, such nice cards. He just has amazing animations. I just love this Bob Zara card. This one looks like it's going to be amazing as well. As an 89 mid range, 95 three point shot, 94 free throw. As a 94 driving layup, 95 driving a dunk. Only some drop post play, but we really don't need that. Uh, 94 ball handle with some insane playmaking. A 93 speed, speed of ball, and acceleration. 98 stamina, 88 steel, low interior, but it's okay. Uh, 94 perimeter and a 92 lateral quickness. Also, some low rebounding and low block. We don't really need that on guard. Uh, 35 Hall of Fame badges uh, for his finishing. We got Acrobat, Contact, Fancy, Giant Slayer, and Pro Touch. Shooting, Green Machine, Hot Zone Hunter, Quick Draw, Range, and Volume Shoot. I like those. I ain't no bad, yeah. Playmaking actually has a lot of good Hall of Fame badges. We have Ankle Breaker, a Dimer, Floor General, Handles for Days, Quick First Step, Tight Handles, and Unpluckable. I like those. Uh, also has Hall of Fame Clamps and Interceptor. Gotta like that. Has Intimidator and Pick Dodger both on gold. Yeah, Bob Sir is gonna be a beast. If there's one card that I gotta say everybody should pick up, it's gonna be this Bob Sir card. And probably gonna be the one I'm gonna drop a gameplay with. Um, we're gonna check out Terry Cummings, who is a Galaxy Hope. Pretty cool. Gotta like that. And is looking like uh, he's going to be a power forward, small forward as well, which is actually pretty cool. Has a 96 mid range, 89 three point shot, 85 free throw, 92 driving layup, 90 standing dunk, 96 driving dunk, amazing post game as well. Jesus has 86 ball control, so he can speed boost. Has a 90 speed, 88 nine speed ball, and an 88 acceleration. Has a 98 stamina, some pretty good rebounding, a low steal and pass perception, but that's okay because he has a 94 interior 89 perimeter 84 block and an 88 lateral quickness for his hall of fame badges has 44 of them um for his finishing we got acrobat lob city drop stepper consistent contact and fancy all on hoff gotta love that for his shooting catch and shoot deep fades green machine hot zone hunter quick draw ring center and volume shooter gotta like that for his playmaking a break starter i love that quick first step and unpluckable, which is nice. Also has dimer and handles for days on gold. Don't really care about dimer, but handles for days is nice. For his defensive slash rebounding, we got clamps, box, intimidator, interceptor, rebound chaser. Yep, Terry Cummings is actually looking like a beast. This is easily, easily a card that I would pick up. He kind of looks like a, basically a free version almost of the Lamar Odom that we got. So actually looking pretty nice card again. Don't really know the animations, but could be a beast of a card. Uh, next we have Galaxy Opal Dick Barnett, who's actually a shooting guard, point guard, uh, and at six foot four, probably is going to be amazing. As a 95 mid range, 96 three point shot, 92 free throw, a 91 driving layup, 90 driving a dunk, 92 ball handle, some really good playmaking, a 97 speed, 96 speed ball, and a 96 acceleration. Poor rebounding, but that's okay. He's a guard, a 94 steal, 81 interior, 95 perimeter, 80 block, and a 96 lateral quickness. Has 45 all the fame badges, very few gold, but. Okay, <laughs> for finishing, has Contact, Fancy, Giant Slayer, and Pro Touch, all the ones that he's going to need. Um, shooting, we got Catch and Shoot, Green Machine, Hot Zone, Hunter, Quick Draw, Rain Center, Volume Shooter, gotta like that. For his playmaking, Ankle Breaker, Dimer, Blur General, Handles for Days, Needle Thudder, Quick for Step, Tight Handle, some nice gold ones as well, including Unpluggable. Um, for his defense left rebounding, we got Clamps, Pick Dodger, Intimidator, Interceptor, and Defensive Leader as well. So a PG with Floor General and Defensive Leader. You gotta love that. Just boosting everybody out there. I think Dick Barnett actually is gonna be a beast. Like, actually a pretty solid card. One that I would look for. Um, again, if you're gonna play some Triple Threat offline and get up to that Dominique, who's definitely worth it. It's awesome to have the option to get these two opals i think it's amazing and then last but not least we have steven jackson the card that everybody every year loves and he's able to play the shooting guard this year at six foot eight he's gonna be so cheesy such a nice two guard usually has some pretty good dribbling animations but he's always got that like rudy gay uh, base jump shot that's just always so green always so money so definitely a card that everybody should love to pick up 
has a 95 mid range, a 92 three point shot, 92 free throw, a 96 driving layup, 85 standing dunk, 95 driving dunk, has some nice um, post game as well. It's not bad. Has a 91 ball handle, so you can speed boost easy, has some really good playmaking, and 93 speed, 90 speed ball, 94 acceleration, 98 stamina, some good rebounding, a 92 steal, 90 interior defense, 97 perimeter defense, an 84 block, and a 91 lateral quickness. Really nothing that this card can't do. Uh, 42 all the fame badges. Let's see, finishing has a contact fancy giant slayer pro touch love those for his shooting has everything hall of fame besides deep fades ice and veins and steady shooter which we don't want those so honestly pretty okay with me the fact that he doesn't have them has playmaking ones bail out you gotta like that floor general quick first step tight handles unplugable for his defense has clamps interceptor heart crusher Meh, not too bad, bad but for gold has pick dodger rebound chaser defensive leader and intimator on gold so pretty good and steven jackson is looking crazy i mean He's probably going to be one of the better two guards in the game. And even one of the better threes just has everything that you would want. Badge-wise, stats-wise, everything. And even animations-wise. Just such a such a nice card. And, uh, yeah, let me know which ones you guys want me to do a gameplay on down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like the video, guys. Did enjoy and subscribe if you guys are new. We are so, so, so close to hitting 6K. So, please, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that sub button. It would mean a lot to me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you all in the next video.